we'll give you feedback in the chat regarding resolution or certain other things. And to pretty much access the OS, you just right click and you're now stuck in using virtual computers mode. So yeah. And you can see obviously there's the key binding above, which is obviously the key binding that we set for the setup process. So you can go left control that and that. Yeah, you have to hold on both all three at the same time to exit or not. So you can see like so. This is what the CRT looks like, and this is what the flat screen looks like. So yeah, obviously the oh, what was it? Uh, which one was it? Uh, the wall TV is the biggest and easiest to see, but if you do prefer the others, you can. Um, and you can just access those by just right clicking. That's fine. And you can see the options still going on, either of them. Uh, otherwise, you can pretty much just put a TV pretty much anywhere, and it doesn't matter. So I could put it like over here, you can make it not really that readable. You can see it and still access it. Oops, sorry, right click, there we go. So you can see we're still accessing it, the arrow keys, so that's fine. So as long as you have a screen, it doesn't matter where it is, you just put it in the world and it'll be perfectly fine. And hello Mr. Iron Golem, but we're busy right now. Um, but if you still want to access your stuff, you can do that. You can turn it off, you can turn it back on, it'll be fine. Now, I've already set this environment up, so I'm not really going to go through it again, but if you just want to see it, obviously, just start up correctly. We should check that first, just in case. Uh, sometimes I have found that the jumping out of the focus on the computer is a good thing, so I can kind of get enough in view of it, um, due to just where I, could be, where I could be. So, like, for example, just further blocks down, or... Um, up closer or this and the other, so yeah. If you need to, then obviously just move each time your character and it'll be fine. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much it for sort of like the basics, let's say. Um, I'm not going to really show a like installation of Linux Mint, of course, because I don't really find the need to do that. Um, but yeah, I already do have like an existing one already, so we might go to that world specifically and just see what that's like. But, you know, we'll see if this actually gets to the, like, testing area part of it, which it should do. It doesn't take too long usually, but it should be fine, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it takes a little bit, but it gets there eventually. Uh, we don't need the ordering tablet anymore, though. We don't need this notepad full anymore. So that's just going to take its time. Um, is that actually do? Yes, it's just taking its time. All right, but yeah, this should definitely work. It's just there we go. Now we're in our test environment. Um, so if I right click, you can see. Yeah, okay, so it's got its icons. You can see me hovering over each of the icons on the taskbar somewhat. Okay, maybe not. There we go. So you can see I can access, for example, like Firefox, and I can do that. And once it gets there. Yeah, it's going to take its time, of course, but yeah. But yeah, you can open programs, you can access certain stuff. Now, I have also heard in that that you don't hear sound, but I can't really say I had experience with it because I turn my sound down all the time, as you can tell by that, and sometimes it doesn't come across in the uh, recording software, just due to how I set it up, so that I only keep audio, not game audio. Yeah, mic audio, not game audio, but yeah. Okay, so that for some reason doesn't want to... It's either it's just it's slow to react to things, or it's just trying its best. And many times I have come across it right-clicking things, so you are going to want to be careful when using it. But uh, as you can see, I'm just left-clicking, and it's right-clicking for me. So, yeah, I don't know about that. But yeah, you can still navigate this and do certain stuff. Um, I've mostly tried to do its environment already, so let's see, is it already running? Yes. Um, now it isn't exactly the easiest to navigate when you can't really see your cursor, but um, yeah, you can obviously use the tab or arrow keys and you can get around as well as pressing enter. So not exactly the best option, but if you can access stuff then it should be fine. Um, once you get the hang of it. 
So let's see, can we go to search? Can we go to that? We might actually try dragging the window. You can see in that how well it does. That's pretty much in that latency and everything else. So it's not too bad, I'd say. We might actually exit out and we'll see frame rate. And we'll go in and we'll go up to the top of the window and you can see how my FPS is changing <laughs> rapidly. Well, that's just by stretching it, of course, but either way. Oop, there we go. We'll go up to that. So we'll just. There we go. We can move it around now compared to stretching it, and it's not too bad, I'd say, though. Yes, yeah, so we'll go down to a search bar. Oop, I didn't want to click the icon. Not the logo, come on. Uh, where is it? Okay, so we'll just do that. Ah, oh, great. No, come on. Where is it? Uh, control A. Can I do that? Yes, I'm just going to say to the channel, because why not? So, yeah. And we'll just sort of browse things, you know. So, let's see. Let's kind of between tabs, isn't it? Uh, I think, yes. Come on, select, select. There we go. And yeah, you can access websites. You can do pretty much anything you can do in a virtual box, regardless, so it's fine. Uh, we'll just go out, because there's nothing that amazing about that. Um, but yes, yeah, so we'll just go to. We'll just go out. Come on, and we'll load up VirtualBox here. And you'll be able to see that it pretty much is using it to do everything, of course. So it's active, even if we have Minecraft as our only thing that was open. And then I'm just opening VirtualBox as if it's, you know, new. But you can see it's running here. So there's that. And you can see our preview. You can see what we set up of 14 gigs for the storage is that. And what we set our RAM and video RAM is also displayed there. So yeah, so there's our base RAM that we obviously changed because I didn't want the eight. So yeah. Oh, and you can also pretty much if you have an existing um, VM computers and set up, you can use the saved ones. You don't have to go through everything again. Or you can redo it from scratch if you want to. So that'll happen every time I assume you load the world up, just to go. Do you want to use what you already set up before? So there's that. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's pretty much everything though. Um, you can just use, obviously, an OS similarly to how you typically would in VirtualBox, but for the sake of using it in uh, Minecraft as sort of like a, I guess, a pass-through.